These days, 22-year-old medical student Daniela Liendo doesn't leave home without receiving her anxious mother's blessing, as though she were going off to battle. And in a way, that's exactly what she's doing. And she goes off to join an anti-government demonstration, but not as a protester. Gaza. This is all I am carrying, gauze, eye drops, tools of a first aid kit. She is one of the directors of the Green Helmets, a volunteer first aid organization started by Venezuelan medical students to treat hundreds of people overcome by tear gas or worse. Like the protester who was run over by an armored riot police vehicle last week. The Green Helmet stabilized him and took him to hospital where he is still in critical condition. We said to ourselves we are studying to save lives and people out there really need us. So we decided to form the group. We are there to treat people without distinction, including police. Although we are usually deployed where the protesters are because that is where we find the majority of people wounded or overcome by tear gas. But even in this, there is no neutrality anymore. Venezuela's green helmets are already being painted as the enemy. In fact, in one of the most widely seen pro-government opinion shows, they were labeled or compared to Syria's white helmets and called terrorists posing as doctors. Shortly after rescuing the protester who was run over by the armored vehicle, a Green Helmets team and their car, used as an ambulance, was attacked by riot police, as seen clearly in these images. A group of 20 motorcycle police surrounded us. One of them tried to cut our tires with an ice pick, and when I tried to intervene, he hit me in the chest with a tear gas gun while another one fired tear gas under the car and two more canisters into the vehicle. Ricardo's father, who drove the vehicle, tells us police also attacked a doctor and a bystander, whom he rushed to hospital along with his son. How is it possible that they drag a female doctor by the hair and shoot a peaceful civilian at close range with a pellet gun just to taunt us, saying, there, now you have someone to treat? Daniela and the other green helmets concede they're more frightened to go out than they used to be a month ago. But not frightened enough to stop them from rushing into yet another potential battleground, armed with only their bandages. And the support of at least one side of this increasingly dangerous and deadly political conflict. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.